Hi y'all, it's Sky, and thanks for visiting my channel. Today I have another Diamond Art Club sneak peek for you guys. So of course, to start off, I just wanna say a big thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending me this kit to share with you guys. And I'm sure you want to know what it is, so let me bring it right up here. It is Sunset Beach by Kim Norlean. Oh my goodness, we will see this bigger in a little bit, but there's a little bit of the image. It is absolutely gorgeous. And let me show you a little bit of the box. Of course, this is a square diamond kit. We know that because of the blue square labeling. I'm just gonna pan over this box, spin it around so you can see what a Diamond Art Club box looks like. On the back, we will have a little bit of information on how to diamond paint and then the contents of the kit. And then, of course, this QR code on the side of the box that you can scan for 10% off. And then we have some really sturdy plastic, so let me get to that. Okay, plastic's off. Sometimes I wonder if I'm ever gonna get better at that. I kind of don't think I will. Let me start pulling some things out of this box, but I do wanna tell you the release information about this kit. So this one is going to be released on Saturday, June the 4th. And that will be, oh, let me grab the toolkit. And our small sticker. Okay, maybe I should have just left this sitting there while I was talking about the release information because now I'm already losing track of what I was saying. Okay, you just, you just sit right there. Okay, release information. This kit will be released on Saturday, June the 4th at 9 a.m. Pacific time, which is 12 p.m. Eastern time, and that's for the Diamond and Ruby level rewards members. And then at 9.30 Pacific time, 12.30 Eastern time, that will be when the release is for the general access. So if you're not a Diamond and Ruby level member, that's your window. All right, let's take a look at this small sticker. You can get a little bit better view of that artwork so so pretty i'll probably say that a thousand more times as we look at this but the small sticker you can do whatever you like with this a lot of people stick them on the sides of their boxes just to help them figure out which kit it is in whatever storage setup they have um, you can also put it in your logbook it does have some information about the kit there so that might help you in a logbook some people make cover minders out of these lots of things you can do I am still trying to figure out something creative to do with mine, but maybe in the future. For now, I just like to look at them because they're so pretty. We also got a newer style tool kit. So we are gonna look at the contents of this. Now, the newer styles are being slowly integrated into every kit that you buy from Diamond Art Club, but there still is the older style floating around and there's no guarantees on which one you're going to get. Uh, but you, you will always have everything that you need to start diamond painting, no matter which style kit you get. In this kit, we got our bag of baggies that you can use for kitting up or storage. We got a diamond painting pin with a little grippy squishy that can slide over the top just to give you a little extra comfort while you're diamond painting. And I'm just trying to get the camera to focus on this glitter. I just think that is so pretty. How many times have I said pretty in this video? I'm sorry. We also have our container of red waxes. Nice little lid so you don't lose track of everything. We've got a four and a seven placer if you like to multi-place. We've got a diamond painting tray with a stopper that just slides right in like this. And we've got our sharp tweezers with the Diamond Art Club branding. I'll show you how sharp they are. These tweezers will come with square kits. And we've got a washi tape. A lot of people use this to tape around the edges of their canvas or to section it off. And this is really cute. I've never seen this one before. I like the little stars. And then we also got a cover minder. This one has like a cool like marble effect. Is that is that the word I'm looking for? I'm not sure. But the cover minder has a magnet on the back of it. 
And what you do is you just separate these two pieces. You would slide this under your canvas and then you will pull your plastic cover back on your diamond painting and then sit the magnet on top and then those will snap together just like they just did and it'll hold that plastic back so it's not sliding in the way of your work. All right, it's time to look at this gorgeous canvas. See, I said gorgeous and not pretty that time. Are you proud of me? All right, let's see if I can open this without tearing the plastic. I tend to try to put the canvas back in this plastic bag to just keep it safer. I don't know. I think it's probably safe enough if I just store it in the box without the plastic, but I don't know, just a personal preference, but um, as I'm speaking, I'm absolutely destroying that bag, so <laughs> I tried. Okay, let's see. Gosh, it's so heavy. I want to see if I can get the drills out first. There they come. Oh, two bags of drills. Okay. All right, we're going we're gonna to take a look at that in just a second. I want to look at these things that came out with the drills. Okay, this is just like a little thank you pamphlet. It just has some information in here about diamond painting and kit contents. Also, you have some QR codes. This will take you to a video on how to diamond paint. This one will take you to the VIP Facebook group. Uh, you got a coupon code in here as well. And then these two on the back are to take you to the app. So it's just the only difference is if you have an iPhone or Android, you'll just have to pick the QR code that you need to scan. And this is our larger sticker sheet. Now we get to see the big version of this image. Well, I'm not gonna say it's pretty because I already said that a bunch. Anyway, this is also great to put in your logbook. You can put a start and end date on here. And then also we've got our dimensions here. This, so this is 104 centimeters by 70 centimeters. And we can see over here how many colors, 58 colors. And how many ABs do we have? We've got four ABs. Now these stickers over here, if I can get one to peel up for just a second, they are individual stickers. So you can just put each one of these on the container that goes with the drill color and you will have a really easy process of kitting up. Okay, now I need to look at these bags of drills. Okay, this is one bag. Ooh, look at that. All right, uh, we are gonna go through these one by one in a few minutes, but for some reason I just get obsessed with how they look in the bag. So we're doing that. Maybe these are the drills that have larger amounts in the kit. I don't know. I don't know how this was organized, but I do want to point out that there is labeling on both bags. So if you store these separate from the canvas, you'll still be able to know which one they go with. Okay, really this time, we are gonna look at the canvas. Let's see if I can, nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna get it right side up before we unroll it. I think this is the way we want to go. Oh my goodness. How beautiful. Wow. I'm so impressed with these Kim Norlean kits that <laughs> we've been seeing the past couple of months. They are always, always stunning. I mean, the artwork, of course, beautiful, but the renderings, just amazing. I am gonna flip this over and roll it backwards just to get it to lay a little flatter for you guys. It would lay flat in no time if I just left it alone. Diamond Art Club canvases are, are great to deal with. So I, I'm just gonna do that for time reasons so that we can look at it flat right now. Okay, I have rolled it backwards. You can see it's lying a little bit flatter and obviously the canvas is not hurt by that process. It is a poured glue canvas and Diamond Art Club canvases are are very forgiving if you need to bend them, wiggle them around a little bit. They're gonna, they're gonna lie flat still. And I also moved the camera just a bit. I still, we still don't have it all in frame. I don't know if I can get it all in frame, but we are gonna do a slow pan in just a minute. But first I did wanna show you a few things about the canvas. So let me bring it a little closer. 
just want to show you this information in the bottom corner. So you've got the title of the piece and then the dimensions again that we already talked about, but also right here, this is the licensing information. So down here is how you know that Kim Norlian has given permission and is also being compensated for the use of his artwork. So if that is important to you as it is to me, then that's where you can find that information. Also, we've got our legend over here, and then we've got one over here. Boy, this is a big one. It's taken me a while to pull it over so you can see the other one. Let's get it up here in the camera. But this is just going to show you all of your symbols, and then you've got one on both sides if you like to flip your canvas all around like I do while you work, you'll have access to one of them all the time. And I'm just giving you a little look at all of the symbols just to see if any of those are problematic for you, then you'll know that they're in this kit. I don't see any that look like they would be an issue, but as I always say, everybody has very personal symbols that they feel strongly about. So if, if you were curious which symbols were in this kit, there they are. I think now we will do the slow pan because I really want you to see this whole thing and I can't get it where you can see it in the frame right now. gosh had y'all already noticed those sea turtles there I guess I th that just got by me and I didn't see it but in the slow pan I was like oh it's turtles I love that I love these pink flowers I didn't realize there was that much pink in this piece but there's a lot I mean I saw the the drill colors and I noticed that one that was kind of a bright purpley pink so I guess that's one of those ones but I just didn't realize how much pink and how much bright color there would be until I was looking at it so closely. I am a little obsessed with this. <laughs> All right let's move on to drills. So if you don't like going through each drill one by one that's my favorite part which is why I usually spend a lot of time on it in every video but if you want to skip this part there should be a timestamp or a chapter down below somewhere that you can use to skip to the part where we look at where the ABs go on the canvas. Okay, two things before we start with the drills. I opened up bag number two first, so we're gonna go through bag number two. Just a mistake on my part, but that'll be the first one you see is this, the actual second bag or the one that was labeled as two. Another thing, there's a really obnoxious bird that has apparently decided to sit right by the window and be loud. So if you hear that, I apologize. All right, we have got 402, and then two bags of 938, and a bag of 209. Ooh, that, that's a pretty purple. I'm telling you, there is just so many more vibrant colors than I realized. 
928, 3856, and then one, two, three bags of 937, 3776, then one, two bags of 3772, and then two bags of 3821. Three bags of 926, three bags of 3011, 3861, and then one, two, three bags of 927, two bags of 310, a bag of 732, one, two, three, four, five bags of 37.68. And then another five bag strand here. This is 33.71. That was all of bag number two. So now we're moving on to bag number one. We've got one, two, three, four bags of 37.99. 453 and two bags of 3021. Four bags of 930. 926, 437, and 3042. 832, two bags of 3825. 730 and 301. Here's those pretty ones that I saw in the bag. 3607, 718, 469, 3822, 779, 3860, two bags of 152, 754, two bags of that also. Two bags of 3064, 733, and two bags of 129. Okay, so this is our first AB, a pretty yellow. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and you can kind of see that these have a special coating on the top that just gives them some extra shine. So let me show you this one. See, you can see these, these do have a lot of shine to them. But then when you look at these, you can tell that there is something special about these colors. All right, we have 898, 433, 3733, 224, 3685, 3837, 3809, 3326, 842, 783, 738, 3810, 762, 327, 415, 434, and then I think we're about to have several ABs in a row. 119, so this pretty purple AB. I love the shine on that one. And then we've got 141, the white AB. And then a pink. I'm so delighted. I'm so curious where this goes too. This is 124. And then last but not least, 3808. That is all the drills. And now we are gonna look at where those ABs go. So if you've skipped to here, Hi, welcome back. I think my little birdie friend that was on the window has gone away, but he was replaced by someone now mowing their grass. So <laughs> again, I'm sorry for the background noise. The first AB we're gonna look at is the symbol number one, which is the 119, and that's this purple. Now, there were three very small bags of ABs, so I'm thinking this might be a little bit of a scavenger hunt for me, because there probably won't be very many of these wherever they are, but I'm going to find them. 
Okay, I think I see them. Let me pull the canvas over here so you can see them too. All right, I think you can see the ones here in these flowers. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. And then bring it over a little bit. This is the porch on the bottom of the house. You can see the railing there, but there's just some more flowers outside with some ABs. And then also up here, like in, in the window or door, I guess that might be French doors we're looking in right there. There's some of that purple AB and then a little bit more on this side of the porch railing and those flowers. Now we are way over on the other side of the canvas beside that sailboat, but there is a little bit more of that AB on this side. Not too much, but it was a very small bag, and I think that is all of them. Our next AB is the symbol number two, and that's the 124 AB, this pretty pink. I'm excited. Okay, I found them. I was guessing so, so wrong. I was looking over here and through here. I, I'll show you. There is one little spot through there, and I'll, I'll show you. But where they are is in the water, surprisingly. So... We, you can see that number two. I know you're probably all also seeing that number three. We're going to come back to that. I bet that is another AB. But all through where the sun is shining off of the waves, there's twos. So we'll have some pretty pink shimmer in the water. That is so exciting for me. I didn't show you those two right there. Okay, like I said, I was looking over here in these pink flowers and I was not having much luck, but there is just a tiny bit of those pink ABs just in a couple of spots. And that is all of the pink one. And now we're gonna move on to the number three AB, which is the 129 so I think we're gonna see a lot more of this one since we got two pretty good sized bags with this one I was definitely hoping that this would be in the reflection on the water and it definitely is but it's it's on the the where the light hits just about everything so we will look at that but let's start with the water so all of this buttery yellow is that AB, you can see the threes all around. Tons of this. And it just continues as we move over just all around. This is gonna be so pretty. Oh man, I said pretty again, sorry. Okay, but it just is though, I can't help it. More threes. I don't think I'm gonna be able to point them all out, but you can see them just scattered in there. That's kind of a larger area of them. And then here we go, this big section here. Lots of threes. And then we, when we were looking over here where the two AB is, we were seeing some threes. There's some all in there. Just, just confetti pops of that yellow. And here, it's, it just goes on and on and on. They're everywhere. This is gonna be so fun. Let's see if I can <laughs> not drop this. I'm trying to maneuver it in front of the camera. I mean, so much of that. But there's some up here too. And then let me take you back over to the boat because we've just been looking at the water, but it is up here where the light is shining 
on the boat as well. Okay, we're back over here by those flowers that are really gonna shine. They've got lots of ABs, but they've got the three also. There's some more in those flowers. And up here, now we're looking at the house. So there's some of that yellow AB in the windows or doors, unclear, I'm <laughs> just guessing. And then where the light is hitting, the railing is lined with threes and then also on the roof. Then we're gonna scoot on over this way a little bit and there's some in this tree, just a little bit right there. And then a bit in these flowers. And then our little fire pit here has some. And as we move this way, got some here, kind of, this is in, this is more water, but water we didn't really look at before. So we're just gonna take the tour and you can see threes going all the way across. There's threes in the sailboat. Right there. Now we're looking in the sky at the top of the canvas. Like, well, there's the sailboat and we're a little above that. And then this is the sunshine. So you can see that it is outlined with the three AB. And then there's some dispersed up here. Not as much in the sky area as there was in the water, but still present. Just little bits up here. And I think that's it, but forgive me if I missed a few of those because they were really everywhere. And our last AB, the number four, is 141, our white AB. And you may have noticed this one already when we were looking at the others. I think this is like the coolest choice. It's just the sun. Okay. I think you can see it now up close. There's the sun and there is just a little block of that white AB and I, I'm looking and maybe there's others, but I can't find them. I think that's it. And I really think that's a cool choice. All right, we've covered all the ABs now. And the only other thing I wanna mention before I end the video is the color blocking versus confetti. and. With landscapes, this is kind of a no-brainer. They're pretty confetti heavy, but I do think that this one kind of surprised me with not necessarily the amount of color blocking, though there is a little bit, but down here in the water, I don't know if you can really tell, but there are just lots of nice little lines there. So if you multi-place, this might be pretty quick. I, I wouldn't necessarily say this is color blocking, but it seems like there's a lot of these same colors used in this area and just nice, pretty lines of them, if that makes any sense. But then also in the sky section, you do have some nice blocks up here. That purpley lavender color there. And this color, I mean, you can, you can see for yourself that's there's kind of some sections where you might feel that that's a little bit of color blocking, which with a landscape, that's a bit surprising. I like that. But you know, you do have <laughs> plenty for the confetti lover as well. There is quite a bit going on with color changes if you enjoy that sort of thing. Also, if, just take a little look at the boat. I just noticed this as I was sitting the canvas back down, but that, that looks kind of like a bit of color blocking too. All right, I've talked your ear off long enough. Thank you again to Diamond Art Club for sending me this beautiful kit. I hope you guys loved it. Let me know if you're planning to purchase this or putting it on your wish list, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!